guys, Jen here. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are doing a super simple clean and reset for the week. Um, we are moving in a few weeks, but we have kind of one more week of normal life. And normal life is a little complicated at our house. So I really need to have that like prep and reset time at the beginning of the week. Um, to set myself up for success. So that's what we're gonna do today, and I'm gonna share some of my tips and tricks along the way in this video for just how I juggle everything. Now, I wouldn't say I'm super successful at juggling everything. I definitely drop a ball every single week, but I make sure to drop a different ball every week. So over the course of a month, things kind of like there's a little bit of ebb and flow, but things kind of just work out. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. You're gone now. We are gonna start today off in the kitchen and we're just gonna get it squared away for the day. only had five minutes and you could only pick one task to accomplish in your kitchen what would it be that made you feel better about your day um, for me it's wiping counters even if there's still dishes in the sink and the toaster is still out if there's no like crumbs on the counters I feel like I can think clearly so I don't know what is it for you you come home to me once you travel World, all the spaces inside your heart Now I'm gonna take a few minutes to get some breakfast made. It's just me and my daughter here this morning, which is such a sweet opportunity. Um, with four children, I rarely have time to spend one-on-one -on -one time with them, so I really treasure those moments. Anyway, so we're gonna get some breakfast made and then I am gonna do some planning for the week. I have really enjoyed keeping my counters clear um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the toaster away I am shaking it out in the sink really quickly so that I get all the additional crumbs you know not on my shelf another fun conversation for the comment section what um, if you have gone through a pregnancy what were your pregnancy cravings uh, mine are obviously they're different with every child, but this time I I can't eat enough tomatoes like that's just it's all I want to eat is tomatoes So now I'm going to sit down and plan out my week. 
I use the Jordan Page Productivity Planner and I've been enjoying that, but I recently added in this Frugal Meal Planner. It has quarterly meal plans that rotate in and out so you don't get tired of any of the recipes. And then it has grocery lists for each week. And so I just sit down and I take a picture of the grocery list and then write down all the dinners we're gonna have. Now I still have to plan breakfast and lunches because I have a full house, but it saves me probably 25 minutes a week, not just sitting down and planning all those dinners. And we've been pretty happy with the recipes. They're fairly healthy as well. So it has really saved me some time and I've really enjoyed it. Next, I'm gonna work on cleaning, folding, and putting away all of the laundry. I would say that's one of the key tasks that really sets me up for success in the week. Um, I'm working on like two very full loads, but when all of our laundry is dirty, it's not usually more than three. Now, that's a lot of laundry, but we are six people. Um, so it isn't a lot of laundry for a family of six. So once I get this done, you also saw that I laid out some clothes for the week. That is such a rudimentary task, I know, but it really makes a difference in your mornings when you lay out your clothes. So it's totally worth the extra five minutes while I'm already there to, you know, to make someone else's week easier. Now I am cleaning off this table. This is actually a new table. It doesn't fit really well in this house. We haven't gotten the chairs that are gonna go with it yet but this is for the dining room in my new house. So that's why that's there. Uh, now I'm gonna quickly make my boys clipboards for the week. And then that is most of my like at home reset tasks. So we are at Starbucks, me and the little one, this one, that little one. Um, when I can, oh, there's like an AC unit right here. You can't hear me. So when I can, I try to take the kids like one-on-one -on -one to the grocery store because we don't get a ton of opportunities for one-on-one -on -one time, so I really try and take advantage of them. Um, but yeah, we're gonna grab a coffee and then we are going to head over to Publix and get everything that we need for the week. overview of what I purchased and what we will be eating this week. So first off, I purchased all the ingredients that I didn't have on hand for the frugal meal plan guide and I will be going by that for dinners. Now for breakfast, I purchased bagels and oatmeal which we will add into our rotation. We also have cereal and Eggos on hand. For snacks, my kids pretty much always get fruit, so that's why we have lots of fruit here. And then for lunches, that's something that we take care of at the beginning of the month, so I don't have to plan it into my weekly budget. So my kids, this month, it's different every month, but this month we have ramen noodles, macaroni and cheese, I got a loaf of bread for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and then they do leftovers. So four breakfasts and four lunches are on rotation and then the frugal meal plan dinners. get all of this fruit washed. I like to wash it as soon as it comes home um, because I like for the kids to be able to just go get fruit whenever they want and it is so inconvenient for me 
to say, oh, did you wash that apple? Wait, give it to me and let me go wash it every time they go in to get a snack. So I don't always get all of the fruit prepped, um, but it, is, it definitely saves me time when I do. for watching. As always, subscribe, like, leave a comment, all that good stuff, and I will catch you next time.